types of sections. There are three main types of steel sections for the structural usage, such as the standard sections, the compound sections, and the build-up sections. The standard sections are the sections that manufacture to specific British or European standards, which can be in the form of hot roll, cold roll, or even welded sections. These sections have standard dies, dimensions, and shapes, which is easily available from the markets and is the most common sections that to be used in the industry for normal applications. These are some common standard sections which include the universal beam, universal column, channel, equals and unequals angle, structural T, and circular, square and rectangular hollow sections. The universal beam looks like an eye-shaped section, which is mainly designed to take care of the major axis bending, and it is suitable to be applied as a beam in the steel structure. As for the universal column, it is mainly designed to withstand axial loops. The aspect ratio between B and D is more or less 1 to 1, so that it is able to resist the buckling under the axial compressions. The channel section looks like this. It can be used as the beam, bracing, thrust and compound members. There are two types of angle, which is equal angle and unequal angle. For the equal angle, the aspect ratio between the height and the width is 1 to 1, while unequal angle, the ratio is different. These angles are normally used as the bracing, thrust, purling, and also the side and sheeting rails. The structural T sections are produced by cutting the universal beams or columns into two parts, which forms a T shape of the section, and it is normally used for the truss, tie, and also light beams. And the hollow sections can be appear in form of the circular, square, and rectangular sections which is produced from the hot roll coil. What you see here is these standard sections have their standardized dimensions of different sizes in accordance to the British or European standards so that the designer can use the properties to design the structures of the steel. The dimensions and the properties are indicated in the diagram here, as well as the table here. All this can be obtained from the tables of properties as given in BS4 part 1, where there is a list of the size and their respective dimensions as well as their geometrical properties such as modulus of elasticity and plastic modulus and so on. These properties are essential for the engineers to design for the structural steel. Some of the important properties are given here which are the exact dimensions of the sections, the locations of centroid of the sections, the area of the cross sections, the moment of inertia about the x and y axis, the radius of gyrations, and the moduli of sections. Next, we look into the second type of the steel sections, which is the compound sections. These are some examples of the compound sections. They are basically formed by strengthening a row section such as the universal beam by welding on the cover plates or by combining two separate row sections or connecting two members together to form a combined member. What you see here is 
These tainted sections are being strengthened by adding some plates or welding two sections together or even combining two different standard sections in order to strengthen the properties of the member or connecting the members together to form a stronger combined member. Next will be the build-up sections. They are basically made by welding plates together to form I, H or box member such as the plate girders, build-up columns, box girders or columns. This is normally applied for the heavy load and long span, which cannot be catered by the standard sections. These sections are normally custom-made to encounter the situations or problems beyond the normal circumstances. In short, for normal structures, normally we use the standard sections as those sections are commonly available in the market. Their geometrical properties and the sections properties are normally given by the manufacturer or the standards where engineers can adopt these sections for the design freely. However, there are some circumstances where the standard sections need to be strengthened, particularly due to some known limitations of the sections. For example, the universal beam, which is strong under the major axis bending, but weak in the lateral resistance. Combining it with another sections, will help to strengthen the members in the lateral directions. This has compensated the limitations of the standard sections. When the compound sections is being used, you will need to obtain their section property through calculations and from the first principles. Special attentions are to be given at the welded joint as it is utterly important to ensure the members are strongly attached to each other and behave as a compound section. Next, when you encounter the situations with extremely high loads or long span, where you require the sections which is not available in the market, and the capacity is not achievable through the compound sections, you might need to custom make the section shapes in order to overcome the problems. This leads to the applications of the build-up sections.